I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Quickly Play Reprisal Universe. Uh, this is basically a an expanded, not really remake, just an expanded version of Reprisal, which I have done a Let's Quickly Play on before on my channel. Um, this game, though, really doesn't seem to add much more other than like a campaign story. I actually think that the first Reprisal did have a campaign, uh, I don't know that there was a backstory to it, but one thing that this campaign in this game does, and as you can see, I've only played a little bit anyway, so I haven't really unlocked a whole lot, uh, but it, it uh, basically limits what you can then do in Skirmish. You basically are going through the campaign as a tutorial and to unlock the full game, which I find unnecessary, but uh, the skirmish mode only unlocks after like the first five missions are done and as you can see when we start here I will not have everything in the game available to me anyway um, so here we start out uh, okay a simple 1v1 map this is randomly generated as well as the number of AI I believe there's up to four um, for some reason you cannot excuse me you cannot choose how many uh, just it's not available for whatever reason. You can choose the aggression, and I'm going to go with actually simple uh, for now, just so I can actually talk and explain the game, because even on normal, the AI is actually pretty aggressive. Uh, this is actually a very quick-paced game. It is obviously a remake of Populous, or an homage to it. Um, so, real quick, all this stuff down here, uh, we're kind of indicating what I have available. I'm going to turn that on for myself. Now, I... I I'm tempted to turn on all of this, but um, I don't believe I've unlocked a lot of this in the campaign. We'll see that. However, however, I think the AI might have access to some things, which I find a little bit cheaty. Anyway, uh, begin the skirmish. And we need to get started right away because the AI does. Um, so if you've never played Populous or seen Populous or anything like this, uh, Populous was a god game. Uh, basically all about expansion and territory gain. The pr Oh, Jesus, that is not what I wanted to do. I wanted... I have not unlocked this yet. That's why it's not available to me. I need to make more land anyway. Uh, the premise of the game is that you are a god, and in this version of the game, you are Thalos over here, uh, who had a war in heaven with his siblings, who kicked him out, and... Uh, and now I'm, I'm trying to get my people to go out and multiply. You need to basically claim or reclaim land and territory to expand your civilization. As you do this, it will give you an increase in mana generation. Mana generation obviously being useful for uh, spell creation. And we appear to be gathering when I did not really want to be doing that. There we go. Um, but that's already made me a pretty powerful thing there. Um, so obviously, the uh, the faster that you build, um, basically the the better you will be, better off you will be uh, all around because the AI is uh, rapidly expanding. I think I've kind of got an advantage though. It appears to be off right in a corner of the map, which is going to limit its expansion options, uh, and I am kicking my people out of their homes to kind of force them to go make new settlements. The more settlements they have, the more people they will generate. Um, I've actually got quite an advantage here in that I am able to level out a lot of territory very early on. Um, as you can see, the AI is situated up on hills, which is actually more of a disadvantage. Uh, in this situation, this map generation actually made it kind of easy because there's not a lot of hills it's just I mean there's hardly any land at all we are basically shaping the land but there are maps where it is just a mountainous hellhole and uh, where that comes into play gameplay wise is that it uh, has a cost effect so you can see that my raised terrain effect changes based on the level that I am at and so there have been situations where I find myself in a mountain and uh, that is a major disadvantage because it costs me more to raise the terrain than uh, it would my opponents. 
Now, I think I'm seeing some... Yep, I believe someone's leveling things for me. Okay, we're going to gather at a waypoint real quick, because what this is going to do when they gather, when they have a, their little powwow, it uh, basically will mean that they sort of have this... Uh, this election, I guess, and it will give me a leader, who's a more powerful unit. Um, one thing that appears to be missing, that at least I have not seen, um, is uh, the avatars. Uh, if you watch my video of... I'm just going to get rid of this little house. Maybe move him so he's out doing more useful things. Same with these two. Um, the, there's an ability somehow... Oh, oh, sneaky, sneaky bastard. Look at you. You sneaky bastard. Okay, we're just gonna preempt the uh, the AI there. You sneaky son of a bitch. Um, yeah, so there's an ability... Ooh. Okay, well, the AI, I, AI does not want to play fair. Um, where somehow you can get avatars for your, your, your guys, and they become pretty powerful units in that they have the ability uh, to use magic. Oh, now he's digging into my territory. I can have a limited influence range um, where I can use my magic to raise land. And uh, it's also a good offensive tool some of the time because you can actually use it to, to uh, attack the, the enemy's territory by lowering and uh, basically eliminating usable land from them and uh, it does shrink their settlements if you can get to it okay it looks like we're gonna be reshaping our land that way that's fine we need to do a quick quick reshape here so we can build a forward base and I've kind of borked myself there alright now we need to be looking at my mana usage. I do have some healing. Shit. And I just completely destroyed my forward base. Not so good. Uh, let's try making some settlements some more. I'm, I'm sort of distracting myself by trying to talk here. I know there's been a few thoughts that have been left dangling because I have not been able to finish those thoughts. There we go. That's a little bit better there. Uh, I think I need to kick some more people out so they'll go do settlements. Uh, y you'll notice that as I do kick these guys out, some of these units look a little bit stronger than others, and that is because the quality of the settlement uh, has an impact upon which kind of troops that you get. This appears to be an abandoned settlement. I don't think it's mine. It is now. Okay. It is now time to march forward again and attempt to knock them out. Now, are we close to sharing any borders? A little bit, a little bit. I saw something there, but I can't actually lower... I might be able to make this just a little bit bigger if I can remove some territory. Uh, all I'm really doing now is just helping my opponent. So, let's maybe gather here. And we need to start kicking myself out here. I've got a new leader. There's a disadvantage to doing this, because now I have fewer people to... Uh, oh, Jesus. See, now he's got Volcano unlocked. If I look at my fire powers, I don't have fire volcanoes unlocked. Um, so there's a little bit of a cheat there. And I guess it is sort of an incentive to make you go through the tutorial, but again, like... Why not just make that available from the get-go? That's not really necessary. And we do not appear to be able to eliminate everything by rebuilding the land, but maybe, maybe I can get rid of some of that. Alright. I know this is not terribly thrilling watch. And in fact, I seem to recall that the original reprisal was actually a lot more exciting to watch. Uh, I think we need to start making more settlements now. I'm about to lose. We are evenly matched if you look at our progress up here, but... Actually, I don't feel like I am. My leader died. 
and I really do think I'm at a major disadvantage. I need more, more mana. Shit, that's too much. It is kind of hard to see the direction of the land sometimes. Not so much on this one, that's a little bit easier with the bright yellows, but I need you guys going off and doing something more useful. They just rebuilt the same land. Do we have mana now? There's another one. I need to recharge this, though. So now what do I do? What do I do? I wish it was easier. It is... It is too simple, I think, to raise land and uh, raise more than you actually want to. Actually, I, sh I need you guys out. Go, go do something else. Fuck. Oh, well, I've got them settled, so no wonder. Actually, let's set them to that. Ooh, fire, fire. Let's set a fire column on you guys. And I should actually also probably have lightning. Uh, I seem to be missing something here. Looking at the mini-map... Oh, dick. They got rid of my, my capital, effectively. I might be able to still build here. Nope, that land is ablaze forever and ever. Alright, well, all I can do is just keep building onto my island. This is really my only saving grace. This is also a uh, simple AI, I would like to remind you. Bring my, my mouse cursor. And holy crap. I feel like the AI in this game has much more... Oh, and I just helped them out. That's not good. Much more of an advantage. Um, so this is still showing up as red on my map? Is that because... This counts as them claiming my territory? Well, I do know that I'm helping myself out now by... Doing this. That is not, not helping out, though. Need to flatten that some more. Ah, oh, fuck. There's just a little, little bit too much of that going on. This is going to come back and bite me, I know, because it's now wiping out some of my territory, probably. I need to get a reprieve here so that I can start gathering my troops and gain a leader again. Man, I am wasting so much time going over the same thing. I mean to go up one and it goes up two. It's really, really annoying. But I'm actually doing better than I think uh, over here can see that I am actually doing pretty well. My forces have turned the tide, and I think this has really, really helped out here. Can we set down two forms of devastation, maybe? There's still a big red splotch on my map. Oh, that's it, just his cursor. That's where the AI is forcing its attention, I guess. Uh, we need to reclaim some of this land. That I can expand. Oh, it just almost drowned my guy there. <laughs> that would not have gone well. Okay. There we go. That's better. That's better. Let's get rid of you. Go settle somewhere. Go settle somewhere that isn't here. I think I might almost have this. Is 
is about to light me up. I do not see... Ah, this. Is that the last one? Where is their last settlement? Ah, oh, man. They managed to get right in my back door. Not cool. Just hurt myself there. I'm trying to level out some land, damn it. There we go. The island is mine. Uh, but yeah, I mean, right now the skirmish mode feels less exciting than the original reprisal. And I, I definitely think it's because the original reprisal was more of a skirmish type game. More, or at least more focused on that. So everything was unlocked. Um, there was at least some music. I don't know what's going on there. They lost the music for this game. Um... And, you know, the, the avatar system. Now, uh, you know, to be fair, you do have to go through about 30 levels of campaign, and as you do, you unlock more. As we saw that there were spells that I had not yet unlocked and uh, was not able to use in Skirmish, even though the AI had access to those, which, uh, you know, I mean, game mechanics-wise and game design-wise, I understand that decision, but I don't agree with it. I don't think it's necessary to do that, you know, especially for Skirmish. If you want to go through campaign as a tutorial and learn as you go what all these things do, fine, but, like, I kind of already got the gist of it. I played the first one, so let me just jump into Skirmish and have some fun. Now, this game does not, in my opinion, really add much to the formula. Um... I, I honestly do not see any difference between this and the original reprisal. And this game, uh, did, I, did I mention I got this on GOG? Uh, it comes with the original one. So, like, between the two, I, I, I'm almost prepared to just get rid of this one and reinstall the original one. Um, you know, the, the story element to this, I guess, is interesting. I, I really don't know that there was a story. I, I seem to recall there was a campaign in the original one. But I don't think there was a story. But I'm not, you know, I'm not convinced that that's enough to to make this any better or different or worthwhile to get over the original one. Um, you know, there's the skirmish mode, but as far as I can tell, there's no there's no uh, online, so you can't really play against anybody. Um, I mean, it's just the same thing over and over again, uh, which. Uh, how how interesting is that? I don't know. Um, I I was kind of excited for this just because I, I like the original reprisal, and so I thought that maybe this was going to be uh, a little bit more robust and and add something to all of it. But from my initial impressions, the first half an hour, well, 45 minutes now of the game, um, I honestly can't say that there's too much to it. Uh, we can take a look real quick at the campaign. <laughs> oh, okay. So, basically, the universe part... This was not available to me as I was going through the first ones, but what this seems to be is, uh, well, a universe. So now... Oh, maybe I'm absolutely wrong. There are 20 players exploring here. Oh, okay. So maybe... 8,000 people. So there are 8,000 people online, is what that means? Oh. Oh. Well, maybe I should take back some of what I said, because I have clearly not delved fully into this. So, this is an aspect of the game, though, that uh, I have not been introduced to. You can see I've only played the first five missions of my central hub. I'm guessing this is the campaign, and then that must mean as I go on here... Can I go to these other universes, or these other planets? Percy's found Kore. So this is another story. Kore Island Beta. Now this is somebody else's island. Okay. Can I go back? Yeah, I don't I don't want to continue on that, thank you. Small number of players there, so this allows me to go. Hmm. 
just some kind of gateway. Okay, well clearly there's an aspect of the game um, that I'm missing out on. I don't know when this really unlocks and becomes relevant though, and I I guess can only go to the nearest one. Is this an influence radius then? If it's not within my radius, I can't go? The universe is open, which is when it unlocked Skirmish. Hmm. Well, maybe there's more to this then that, uh, that I should have looked into before giving that. But first impressions, I mean, without even knowing this, because there's no indication that this even existed until I came back into it, um, you might want to maybe make this more clear. Oh yeah, that's definitely what's going on. This is a an influence radius, so I can't go to the next maps until I expand my influence on my own universe. Demeter found Themisto. Last planet settler was Fawful. Okay, so, but am I actually playing... You know what, well, let's just jump into this real quick. And if, if this is another player that I matched up against, I'm just going to jump out. And I apologize. But uh, Last Legacy by Gary. So does that just tell me who played two weeks ago someone played this game? Let's jump into this real quick. I'll, I'll end up aborting once I see. Be warned, this island groans for its genesis. Reprise other tribes and complete this island. Uh, next Earth groans. Um, okay. I've got my recording thing. Okay. Nope, this just appears to be AI. Ooh, but I do want people to go here. Gather at that waypoint. I think that's where I actually want them to go. I'm not really sure what the Earth groans means. We are collecting now. Th th this sort of thing is, is what you're doing in the campaign. You are collecting these points because, uh, as part of the story, um, Thalos had a well ten magic amulets. And you need to recover them. And so this is kind of what you do here. Uh, XP collected. Upgrade your totem classes. Didn't unlock anymore, but uh, I've got a new leader because of this. Interesting. Yeah, okay, so effectively more of the same. But I guess maybe then what you're doing is... No, I, I actually need to be settling, not, uh, not flapping around with that. So the universe part of it then just seems to be like an online leaderboard thing, which is actually kind of disappointing. Before for for a minute there, I was I was actually thinking that maybe there was going to be like a an online skirmish against people, which uh, you know why not? Like uh, I think we need to get rid of you and make you go settle somewhere else. Not there again. Oh, you bastard. Well, let's see if we can evict these guys and get them to go settle elsewhere. I don't want to be too... too enthusiastic about it. We need to constantly evict these guys and get them going elsewhere. Now I could lower that. Uh, let's put down this over here so that they may be settled towards that. I've got a leader already. What's my AI friend doing? The uh, My recording thing is right up top there. Do I have... What do I have unlocked? Oh, so I can already mess with them. Let's do this. people moving off so that they're actually using the land. What can I do here to... Oh! The Earth groans. Next Earth groan. Okay, well that's an interesting mechanic. Annoying, but uh, I mean, sure, why not? So as you can see, this is a little bit more chill. And uh, I guess I kind of appreciate that, given that the map itself is working against me. I just want to see... Uh, I had not actually intended to continue playing this, but I just kind of want to see now 
what this does as far as uh, I don't have a fire column available yet I really appear to have messed up his stuff and so I guess did the earthquake okay I need to be focusing on making more of my own because my my land development is slowing and my mana is not growing now this oh my god okay this is where the colors are really messing with me I cannot for the life of me tell what is up and what is down the dark stuff to me indicates a hole and so when I'm looking at that I'm like oh I need to raise the land and then it's like no this is actually the other side of a mountain aggravating anyway uh, we seem to be doing all right and uh, if you look at my score over there I am dominating for sure so next earth grown let's build this up real quick and see if I can't maybe make a thing here uh, we're about to have something and call him a fire let's turn that on and let's go let's go hunting I think we've got a big enough army now we're about to anyway Uh oh you can hear the doom groan <laughs> so that's interesting I guess um, I feel like the AI and maybe that's what that, that is I having set the AI to uh, simple is campaign mode AI not not this. All right, I'm gonna play that way. We're gonna we're gonna have a few more issues here. Uh, I can heal my guys. I can walk into a healing field. Hopefully that doesn't heal the enemy as well. I mean, I'm not sure why it would, but the fact that the game kind of has that double-edged sword mechanic to it when you're raising land and all that stuff, I could see them expanding that everywhere else. Holy crap! All right. That's okay, though. Uh, I kind of do need to be just removing some of this stuff in the back so that these guys move forward. If that, that land encroachment is really key to the strategy of this game. And uh, not wiping out your own power base is also a good idea. Okay, can we move for? Oh, boy. Well, how can we... How can we mess this up for him? There we go. Nope, nope. Ah, oh, piss. Well, what I should do, actually, is kind of set myself up out here. We need another gather point. And I need to start getting myself a leader. I'm not really rallying to that point though. But I am rather overwhelming in power right now, so I'm not super concerned. Got choices out here now. That's good. Now we need to. Need to level this out. My guys are all retreating so they can make a leader. That's fine. That is rather intended that way. Ah, see, now... I need to raise this. And I need to raise this. Okay, are we getting a leader yet? Nope, but they are gathering to do so. Come on, come on. How many guys does it take to make a leader? Ah. Bastard setting my guys on fire. Actually, yeah, at this point, I think maybe setting them off to planes. Somewhere a little bit nicer. Might actually help me out. It's not saying that I've formed anything, so let's just set them off to kill. That has not grown up yet, so let's set off on fire. Uh, now, forest. I do have the option of growing forests. It's growing crystal forest. That's very interesting. 
Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Ah. I just want to hurry up and see what it does when I conquer a map conquered by somebody else. I'm really thinking it's just a just an online leaderboard competition thing. And uh, the Epine Wars have never really been my thing. I don't really care. So if that's all it is, I can't really say that I'm impressed. Uh, that's going to destroy my own home, but I feel like it might also give me an advantage. Maybe I shouldn't. Okay, okay. So far, so good. This is the biggest this gets. I guess it is. It appears to be the max, yes. Just open away. Help my guys grow their forward encampments. I need someone to come capture that. They have done so. I cannot see the, the mini-map. It's a very bad placement for my recording software because I cannot see this bit. My leader just died. Okay. Let's set another... Well, I, I actually think that the best thing right now is just to keep them going. And we just won. Okay, cool. Universe influence increased. All right. Awarded for your first reprisal of this island. Ah, okay, cool. Only eight deaths out of 34 battles. Use experience points to upgrade totem classes. Ah, here we go. Click on Totem Power below to use an experience point and upgrade its class. Um, well, right now, Fire. Actually, this is probably more useful to me. So I apparently have not unlocked that. Oh. Oh, really? Ugh. What a slog. Themisto. Island Beta. Yeah, I really don't think I want to. Let's go... Okay, so what this appears to be is a way to get you to think you have some replayability uh, by going to new universes and conquering other maps and whatnot, but it is not anything multiplayer, again. Um, which is, uh, I feel like it's a missed opportunity. Um, Ooh, there's the Swamp Totem. So, yeah, you basically have to go through 30 levels to unlock the full game. And, uh, as we saw, I was able to level up powers and all that stuff by playing again and again and again. I mean, just go play the original Reprisal and that's all there. Plus, you get awesome music and the Avatar Bear things. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I am willing to believe that they are further down the line, that they are unlockable, but... I mean, again, if, if you... Any other game that I have recalled playing anywhere near, uh, you know, the, the campaign and open skirmish type mode, uh, it, it always includes, like, basically a full unlock of that. Like, I mean, really, think about any RTS game. The multiplayer stuff is all available to you whereas you gain them through the story of the campaign. And, you know, you think about a game like StarCraft or WarCraft or whatever, um, they did that in game design fashion. What I mean by that is that you learn how to do things as you progress, which you do in this campaign. You know, you learn your powers as you gain them through the totems and all that, and it's, it's a story-driven thing. But it's all available if you just want to basically skip the tutorial and go straight to Skirmish. Why that's not all available in Skirmish, I personally find a little bit annoying. I mean, for me personally, I'm the kind of guy who would go through a campaign, so I would unlock all that anyway. But for doing something like this video, um, 
having all that available, I, I just don't see why it wouldn't be. It, and, oh my god, I've completed 2% of the game for about an hour's worth of work. Well, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, that's Reprisal Universe. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, like I like the original Reprisal. This, in my opinion, doesn't really improve upon it by much. It expands a little bit, but... Uh, Eh, I mean, if if you want to just play Populous, then just get the original one. Um, I'm not sure that it is available separately anymore. I think maybe this is the one that got released to everything. Um, so if you're buying it just for the fact that this game comes with the original, uh, I guess that's okay too. Anyway, time to end the video here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next Let's Play.